My fellow culprits. <laughs> How you doing? Guys doing? Um, I honestly don't know what to do, who to turn to, etc, etc. Um, a bit of a dilemma has happened with me. And I figured I'd share it with you guys. Because um, I don't like to... I don't like to hide stuff. I was planning on repainting my case, but that never came to fruition. So, anyway, um, the dilemma is this. Um, yesterday morning, I got woke up at about 6.30 in the morning um, by a family member telling me that one of my siblings, my, one of my sisters, was uh, in the hospital. She's fine. Um, I got an update. Uh, about 9.30 that night, yesterday. Um, she's fine. She um, had low blood, pr low blood pressure and just collapsed. And um, that put me on edge. I then had finished um, recording. Oh, I'm sweating my balls off. I finished... Um, Recording some content for the YouTube channel. Um, and literally, right as I finished hitting the record button and, and getting ready to start editing it, my phone goes off again. And this time it was my younger brother. Um, as you guys know, who, if you are even a follower of mine or even remotely care, um, I'm a bit of a lone wolf when it comes to my family. Um, I have been since... I was 11 or 12 um and it's mostly because i choose to be outcast i chose to be an outcast i chose to stay away i chose um for their betterment not mine for theirs um because i do suffer from anger issues as you previously know from the old old cobra known as the the, the raging cobra the angry cobra that was nothing nothing compared to how I used to be. Um, now, as a kid, I could hide it. I could, um, and I was very good at hiding it. I was very good about lying about it. People, because no one really cared. You know, I was, like I said, I was the outcast. Mm. Ginger snaps for the win. And, um, A whole bunch of things happened in my childhood. I don't blame my childhood for it. I don't blame anything of, of the sorts for it. I'm just gonna move this light so it gives me a little. There you go. I don't blame anyone for it. Um, it is my own doing. It's by my own action. It's by my own cause. So please understand that it's something I've come to terms with. I really have come to terms with it. But I recently found out that my younger brother I recently found out that my younger brother is very, very sick. And um I think it's today, it's no, tomorrow. Tomorrow uh I think he said it was 8.30, 9.30. He goes into the hospital for tests to see how bad and to see if it's um, terminal. Um, so please understand, I am a lone wolf, okay? And as a lone wolf, I'm telling you, if you have siblings, if you have mothers, father, you know, if, if you have a mother, a father, if you have any family now bear in mind some of you know what my fam what some of my family have done to me in the past and you also know that i'm a very forgiving person but there are just some things i can't forgive so bear in mind this does not make me a hypocrite when i say this but you do need to reach out to those loved ones and tell them how much you love them tell them what they mean to you, 
tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Because your time on this planet is not Okay, your tomorrow is not guaranteed. Okay, understand that. You're holding a grudge against someone from school from when you were 12. Let it go. Okay? You only think like me, you're in your 40s. But let it go. As Darth Vader said, Princess, let it go. You know? Seriously, guys, let it go. Um, I'm not sure if these are... The point is, let it go, guys. Um, I'm going to be seeing my daughter this weekend. Uh, so no streams or anything this weekend. And no videos. Um, this is the only video you're going to get from me from this point on up until Monday. Um, so hence this is a premiered Coffee Time with Cobra. So if you're wondering why there wasn't any content, no streams, no videos, uh, things of that nature from today, Thursday, up till Monday, you know why. It's mostly because I'm going to be spending the weekend with family and with people that I deeply feel that I need to reconnect with and that I need to let things go to be the bigger person and oh don't get me wrong i'll still be i'll still be the black i'll, I'll still be the black sheep the lone wolf the, the the whatever you want to call me you know it's just it's coming up to the anniversary of my grandmother's death And I still have not come to passing. Physical pain can be healed. Physical pain can be dulled with medication, with therapy, with um, nerve surgery, things of that nature. Emotional pain hurts worse and lasts longer because there is no pill like there is no therapy you can do there is i think it is a storm as weather whether it if you're like me alone please understand when i say this being alone can be very addictive and i say that with all air grace and caution so please understand this. Being single, being alone, very, very, very addictive. It gets to the point where I do not want, in any way, shape, or form, I do not want to put my new inner peace that I have built, I have put together, I am not willing to sacrifice it five minutes of cream pie potentially turning into a fully baked cream pie that I'm now res responsible for, if that makes sense. Um, thank you, Skeletor. It has to do with the fact that, like I said, I'm just not willing to give up everything that I've put and built myself. And if I meet someone who's willing to put in that amount of energy in with me, then great. But to this day, I've only ever come across maybe one or two people in my life, and I consider myself lucky because I've met one or two people that are willing to weather that storm with me, but also know that these are my hard limits, these are my boundaries that I will not cross. And if you step into those boundaries, I will step back until you are out of those boundaries, or I will push you out of my boundaries. Because they're mine. I don't play well. I don't share well. My boundaries. Okay? My no nos. Don't touch my no nos. Until. Spiritual. Books. Won't know more about my brother until maybe this upcoming Thursday, Friday. The NHS takes the sick if you fucking test results. It, you can test results the same goddamn day in other countries, which is why what the fuck is going on. Oh, that's right. It's 
slowly being stripped and torn down and turned into a private, private system, knowing that we as people have nowhere else to go. We have no alternatives, we have no Medicaid, we have no Blue Shield, Blue Cross, we have none of that. We've got Bupa, who's already a private hospital, or we've got the NHS, who's now basically a pseudo private hospital. It still takes public funding, it still takes pub that, that will still take your money, gladly take your money. But it's amazing how the prescriptions are right for you is for a private medical company that they've got secret deals with. Instead of the old instead of the old generic stuff that they used to you pick up your at your chemists. Sorry, the planes are in force today because of um some stupid fucking terrorist threat in London, so all of a sudden all the fucking police are out and forth, keeping an eye on everyone, which is why if a bomb does go off, I'm expecting a visit by the police. Simply because of my plane. All things changed and... But... I just wanted to let you guys know why I'm on Do Not Disturb on Discord, why I am not responding to IMs or texts or emails or whatnot. Just need time to be with my family at this time. My my blood family, my brother, my sisters, my mother, um, my daughter. My daughter doesn't even know yet. I'm going to be telling her face to face. Um, and I know she doesn't watch my YouTube videos, so she's going to be spoiled. You know, no spoiler alerts or anything, but point is um uh, this weekend is going to be very emotional say that and um guys i'm going to end this video with these simple words stop putting off stuff for time go surprise go surprise your mum and see him See him just call up and say, hey, what are you doing today? What you got planned? They say, oh, nothing, I'm just, I'm doing the gardening away. Over. Mad. Make memories. Say to him, you know what, let's, let's go out and have a cup of tea. You know, take, take him to a, a cafe, take him, you know, just, hell, have a picnic, you know? If, you, if you're too cheap, make some sandwiches, you know, get yourself a thermos, blanket, you know, and, and, Go around, knock on their door, and tell them, "Come on, go to the park. It's a lovely day." Which is a lovely day today. Nice day. Not too hot, not too hot, not too cold. There's a nice, subtle breeze. Really nice day today. It's 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 really good. Um, I've already done my shopping today, so I'm happy. Got my seven thousand steps in. Um, yes, that's what I do daily. Seven thousand steps. Um, and. Spend time with people that you love. Stop saying that you love. Show them that you love. Show them up. And I get it. There are sometimes there are things that have gone on in your past. You need to grow. For the grow, you've got to learn. You've got to understand regrets are like stones tied around you. Trying to try. That's something my therapist said to me. And I'm trying not to cry. And when he said that to me, it was like very cathartic. Uh, I felt very uplifted. Myself out. Like I look at my paint table, my craft table, my models and stuff. And most of them are all primered, some are even, you know, got some colours on them and whatnot. And I ask myself, why did I stop painting that miniature? Why did I stop doing this? Why did I stop doing that? Why, 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 why? And the moment my answer is, I don't know, go do it. Find out why. Just find out why. And I want to end this video on this note. I don't want this to be a super long video. I'm going to end this video on this note, which is boycotts work. Target is feeling it, Bud, Budweiser is feeling it, 
So if we as people who vote people into power realize it, stand up. If we all stand up, the board gets flipped, game is up. Go vote. I don't care who you vote for. Go vote. Let your voice be heard.